Hey, it's Dr. Amanda with StraightSmileSolutions.com and today we're gonna do a demo on how to apply Gluma or Hema to teeth that are sensitive, dentinal sensitivity. So let's talk a little bit about that, how it works and how I like to use it with ortho. So most general dentists are aware of these compounds and how they work. I'm gonna talk at a really high level today that's really meant more towards the dentists that are out there. Um, if for patients, this is just really meant to be informative. Hopefully you can learn something and take that information back to your dentist and ask for it. If it's something you want, it's likely that your dentist will bill for this procedure. It's often not covered by insurance. So, you know, um, it's something you'll wanna to talk to your dentist and find out what their pro cost is to apply this per tooth, per quadrant, or something like that. It isn't something you'd have done on the whole mouth. It's more of like a sensitivity, like a localization thing. Um, so let's talk a little bit about sensitivity in teeth, why it happens, and how you can treat it. So let's go there. Okay, so teeth sometimes can get sensitive. Why? Lots of different reasons. So the first thing you need to do when you have sensitive teeth is go to your dentist and have a full examination and a set of x-rays because we need to find the reason why your teeth are sensitive and treat that reason. So what I'm gonna show you today is meant for those patients that have no, it's iatrogenic. There's no reason that we can see. <laughs> so like maybe there's no cavity, um, there's no baby cavity, um, there's no broken tooth, um, the nerve is good, there's no active infection, maybe there's just a little bit of recession from aggressive toothbrushing or just getting a little bit older or teeth are moving. It's a little sensitive, it's just temporary, it's not chronic, but it's bugging you, right? You, maybe you can't eat ice cream or ice water. And yes, there are over-the-counter products that are out there, but I've tried them for me and it doesn't work very well. So I fall into that category where I am a dentist. I'm quite aware of my oral health. I go to the dentist regularly as well. Happens to be my husband, who's a general dentist. And I know that I have no cavities, no infections, everything's healthy, but I do occasionally get sensitivity. Um, I notice it more when they clean my teeth, you know, when instruments are against it. Uh, but also it can sometimes just be acute or sharp when I have something really cold on that area. So my area is down here, okay, around one of these teeth. I kind of know where it is. So I'm going to show you what we can do um, and what a dentist might do and something you can ask for. Now, I have also used it in terms of ortho. If I have an ortho patient, some is with ortho, we're moving teeth gradually, slowly, and sometimes as we move teeth, it takes a little while for the gums to adapt over the teeth and you could temporarily have a very sensitive tooth, right? And for patients, they get really upset because they're not used to that. So this can really help quell that. It's something that might last 30 to 60 days. It'll just help things out a little bit. Do I bill for it? No, because it only takes me a few minutes and it really doesn't cost me anything because it's just part of the ortho procedure. However, if you are the orthodentist or the orthodontist and you're thinking about doing this, I really think you should run it by the patient's general dentist first if you're not their general dentist or primary care dentist because it's a bit overstepping. I mean, it's, it's a really nice thing to do, but they need to chart it as well. So the compound or the, the brand I'm gonna use today, and there are lots of different brands, is this one, okay? Um, it's just a dentinal desen uh, desensitizer. Fee on the product, lab fee or, or purchase fee is somewhere maybe 50, 60, $70 for a bottle. It has multiple applications. It's gonna last you multiple patients. Um, I'm gonna read this to you, what they say, their introduction on their paperwork. They said it's a, de a superior dent <laughs> desensitizing agent, I can't say that today, that can be placed under fillings or dentinal cements they're mostly using it in terms of putting it under fillings. I'm thinking about using it just to put directly on the teeth, no preparation, no filling, just due to a little bit of recession, a little bit of aging, a little bit of toothbrush um, erosion, um, just to help that sensitivity. So um, it's really meant to be more temporary. So let me show you what our armamentarium is or what um, supplies we need, okay? So obviously I'm not in a dental office right now, I'm in my in a home office. I'm, so I'm using a green screen. I'm the patient. I'm also a dentist. So am I doing this totally properly with right isolation? It'll work out fine, but no. So you'd want to do this actually in the op, in the chair. But this is the product. Obviously, we want to use good infection control. So I've got a paper pad. I'm going to dispense it on here. Okay. We want to have good isolation. So you can use cotton rolls, two by twos, um, cut up four by fours. You want to have micro brush, which I'm going to take out so that you're not cross-contaminating. 
okay? Um, retraction and some type of air to dry it. And of course, since I'm not in an off right now, this is gonna be my air, yay, it works. So, um, turn that off, it actually works great. So um, sometimes you're gonna need a light cure unit. I'm gonna go ahead and do mine just because I've always have, but even though it's not part of the instructions, there's nothing wrong with doing it. So, but remember with these, you don't wanna get them in your eye, okay? Some do require it, some don't. For me, I don't know, I just is how I do it. So nothing, no damage, no harm, no foul. Okay, so I'm gonna take you through the procedure verbally and then I'm gonna do it without talking because I'm gonna have my hands in my mouth, which are already clean and they're my hands, so I'm not putting gloves on them. So, but you should. So um, we're gonna go ahead and make sure the patient's had a cleaning. We're gonna make sure we've done a thorough exam, make sure there's no cavity, no decay, no fractures, no perio, um, no calculus, no plaque, okay? So obviously I've cleaned my own teeth really well. I'm gonna be applying it to mostly the lingual, slightly the buckle in a couple areas. I'm going to isolate it really, really well, dry it off, okay? And then I'm gonna dispense a few drops on the pad. I'm gonna use my micro brush. I'm gonna apply it. You wanna scrub it into the teeth, into the effective area for a good 30 to 60 seconds. So while we're doing this, you're gonna see me scrubbing and not talking but that's what I'm doing. So you really need to kind of have a timer going as well because you wanna make sure you do, you scrub it into the tubules so it gets in the tubules. And then you're gonna go ahead and air dry with your air water syringe, just air. Remember, whenever you do this, you, want, you don't want water coming out. So you wanna make sure you purge the lines first. And then I'm going, personally, I'm gonna light cure, but for this brand, it's supposedly not necessary. And that's really it. So it's only gonna take like about a minute or two, and it's gonna provide a lot of relief for 30 to 60 days. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, but you're not gonna see me talking during this part of it. So, um, and hopefully it'll help out so I can eat more junk food, like ice cream. All right, here we go. And that's it. Tastes a little nasty, rinse out, and you're good. So hope you enjoyed this demo today and hopefully it'll help you in your practice. As always, send us more tips and tricks and questions to straightsmilesolutions.com. Take care.